Oh, hello. about Rucker. That's terrible, Adam. He was our standard bearer. What direction will the movement take now? I don't know. I spoke to Miller as he was leaving. Told me he was going to Gollum City to talk to the state police. Damn, I hope he has better luck than you and Smiley did. Because if you think that Prague is bad now, imagine what'll happen if reaction to Rucker's death gets violent. I'd rather not. Yeah, FUBAR is what'll happen. What a week. And meanwhile, I'm going crazy waiting for Dr. Ozen to get back to me with my test results. How did it go with Dr. Ozan? She ran some tests? I swear to God, Adam. These tests they give me are more stressful than being in the field. When I'm out there, I have immediate feedback every second. And when you're doing these tests, they just stare at you and take notes. I don't like it. Nobody does. When do you get the results? Dr. Ozan didn't say. I don't know, hopefully in a day or two. Try and stay positive. Always. So what do you think of our new doctor? What do you mean? I just wonder what she's really doing here. Things are heating up here in Prague. We can use all the help we can get. I'd be worried if Interpol didn't send a psychologist. Besides, I spoke to her for an hour. I like her. It just seems suspicious to me, that's all. We've never needed a psychologist before. Who's she watching? Come on, Adam. You keep talking like that and Chang's gonna change all the locks again. There are 87 agents in Prague, and I just finished handing out the new keycards. I should get going. Okay. Talk to you later. Listen up. There's currently a situation in Gullis. If I have anything, I'll let you know. How long is Director Miller going to be in Gollum City? He told me as long as it's here. Thanks for taking care of those conspiracy nuts, Jensen. The thought of someone knowing where we are, I mean, I'm supposed to be digging into this Janus hacking collective, but I can't do that if I keep looking over my shoulder, waiting for the next bomb to go off. Any progress on Janus? Why? What have you heard? Don't get jumpy. Just curious. Janus has officially hacked into my sleep. I wake up trying to figure out who's tracking who. Sometimes I think I'm this close, and then nothing. But I am starting to learn one thing. And what's that? The less I talk about how it's going, the better it seems to be going. How did you get started here exactly? Miller came to me in prison. Helping him set up a cyber crimes unit was my way out. That's a pretty good deal. Sure, if you're looking to exchange one set of impenetrable walls for another. At least in prison I didn't owe anyone anything. Here, yeah, I don't know. They do a good job of reminding me that I have a lot to be grateful for. You saying they hired you because they knew you wouldn't ask questions? No, no. Maybe. Look, I do ask questions. A lot of questions. Just not always out loud. You were brought in specifically to track down Janus. You ever worked with them in the past? I'm not one for collective ideals. Chang looks out for Chang. Sometimes our routes ran parallel. Ships in the night kind of deal. Is the collective as big a threat as people say? People like to romanticize these kinds of hacktivist organizations. But you don't see it that way. They're anonymous, powerful, and convinced they have a stranglehold on what's right and wrong. In my opinion, that makes them very dangerous. Get some sleep, Chang. You sound like you can use it. Be careful. Chatter on top of chatter. Mark doesn't make sense. Hey, Jensen, heard you had a bit of trouble at the petting zoo. Come again? The snatch and grab with Rucker. Guess it's no steps forward and two steps back for you too, eh? Isn't that how you put it before? Right. Only I'm not being tied up by red tape like you are. My problem is a little more complicated than that. 
I'm just stating the facts as they are, mate. Although, I am a little surprised you managed to cock up such a simple task, what with you being so, uh, well equipped for the job. You think because I'm augmented, going after Rucker should have been a cakewalk? You know, McCready, the more I talk to you, the less surprised I am by what comes out of your head. Is that a fact? You think you know me? I know your type. You're a front-towards-enemy kind of soldier. Very effective, as long as someone points you in the right direction. I'll wear that as a compliment, thank you. And fuck you. Now, if you don't mind. Why do you have such a problem with me, McCready? You don't even know me. Oh, I think I do. I've worked with your type before. You roll into barracks with your solid-state muscle, think you're more capable than the rest of us slobs. You're afraid of being replaced? <laughs> Please, mate. They broke the fucking mold when they made me. Besides, I think it's been proven that there's no substitute for good old-fashioned organic clockworks. So, again, if you don't mind, I have work to do. So no R can ever live down the incident, is that it? Is this meant to be an interrogation, Mr. Shit-Hot Ex-Cop? Because you're dancing on my last fucking nerve. You afraid it's gonna happen again? Listen, Frankenstein, I lost three men. Good men, because one of you fucking robots had his switch. I warned you about pushing it, didn't I? Still, that was unprofessional. Look. Just... We all lost something during the incident, some more than others. But the people responsible are still out there, and they need to answer for what they did. I'm not asking you to be friends, but we can't stop them as enemies. Mismatched tools, bound by a common goal. Is that it? Something like that, yeah. How maybe that is all we need. Suppose we just let time tell. Right. I'll see you around, McCready. Sure. You know my door's always open. Except, of course, when it's not. Wow. Two in one day. Did maintenance take the plague cross off my door? I'm sorry. Aria was here earlier. And now you. That's two agents to walk through my door willingly. You know, while I have you, I'd love to talk with you about Rucker. That's actually why I'm here. You're kidding, right? Because this never happens. Sometimes I literally feel like a dentist. I have a suspicion about who might be behind the hit on Rucker. A name. I link came back with nothing, but... But maybe I can use some of my shrinking tricks to see what I can dig up. Maybe draw up a profile for you? So who's the guy? Victor Marchenko. Hmm. He sounds bad. <laughs> no sweat. It's nice to feel like I'm part of something. I'll let you know if I have any luck. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. I hope you don't beat yourself up over the Rucker thing. I'm sure you did everything you could. Daniel Fletcher, you are a genius. Oh, hey, Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to... Checking my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this. It's a Stanic. A Stanic? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... using a low-tech solution is really clever. Static watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. 
Great. Let me know how it goes. Clockman's clock is ticking. Granted. Stanek wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment, and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. Yeah. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Copy that. And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait, I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Static. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No, I would never... 
I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You're right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They said they were her friends, but I could see they only wanted to use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her. And now they intend to make her disappear. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Duh! They exploited. Her. And now they plan to discard her. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why would he... I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man. But my shop is well-known and respected. Radich liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison. So we strike a deal. Deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They kept talking about the Ascension, whatever that is. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goon showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will! Smiley, I spoke to Stanek. He's not our guy, but he has a daughter. Allison. Ex-military EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. So, the agents are finally a real man. Jerry gives her up. This investigation is stolen. I'll make sure they lean up and see what he does. Good. Let me know what happens. Well, uh, these boys bore me. Like